Welcome to Retro Crisis. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use some pretty cool realistic arcade bezels in RetroArch. And this project was made possible by Orion's Angel. So firstly, go to Orion's Angel's Lieb Retro homepage, which I'll leave linked in the description below. So Orion's Angel has grouped his bezels in multiple packs, which can be downloaded individually. So the first pack is this link here. And when you click it, you just click the little button here to download. But if we go back to the original homepage, and if you scroll further down the page, you'll find links to pack two, pack three, pack four, and so forth. But in this video, I'll just show you pack one and the method I used to get the bezels working. So once the pack has finished downloading and you've extracted it, you'll end up with a folder that looks like this. So go into the main folder and then go into the artwork folder. And here you'll see the individual zip files for each game bezel. So this one here, SF2, is in reference to Street Fighter 2. So I'm just going to extract that to its own folder. And then open it. Now this is the file I'm interested in, and I'm probably going to just do away with these ones here. And I'm just going to rename this to SF2. And now in this space here, just right click, go to New, and go to Text Document. And here I'm going to rename this file to SF2 and I'm going to delete the TXT and then type in CFG and confirm and hit yes. And now we need to open this CFG file in Notepad. So right click on it, go to open with and Notepad. And once it's open, you need to copy and paste some text into here. So go to the description section of this video and copy and paste this. So it's these four lines and just make sure the file name of the overlay is here. So sf2.png, which matches sf2.png here. And then you can save this. So what you need to do is get all the other overlays that you're interested in and you need to make a CFG file for each one of those. And now what you can do is if you just cut these into memory and go to your RetroArch installation folder. Once you're in RetroArch, go to the overlays folder and make a new folder here. And I'm going to just call this Orion's Angels. And then open it and then paste the two files we just made. Now open RetroArch. Now before continuing any further, make sure you have Mega Bezel configured. If you want to learn how to do that, I've got a short video guide which can show you how, linked in the description below. Once you've done that, you can resume this video. So now I'm going to load up a game. Great, so once the game's loaded, press F1, go down to on-screen overlay, turn display overlay to on, go down to overlay preset, go to Orion's Angel, and here we can choose the sf2.cfg file, or whichever one you decided to make. And now if we return to the game, you'll notice that the overlay has been installed. Now it kind of looks a bit out of line, which doesn't look so great. So in order to fix that, just press F1, go back to the quick menu home screen, go to shaders, make sure shaders are on, go to load, go to shaders, bezel, mega bezel, presets, and then choose whichever mega bezel preset you want to use. And return to your game. Now, as you can see, mega bezel has fixed the aspect ratio of the game and also added a nice CRT shader preset. One of the things I love about Orion's Angel overlays is not only does it add the original authentic arcade borders around the screen, the actual CRT screen also has a sheen over it and looks a bit dirty just like the original arcade machines would have. And the screen also looks a little dim and worn out as if it's had hundreds of hours of usage. In my opinion, these are hands down the best arcade overlay borders I've seen ever. 